This is Harry Judd for Boxing Social in association with Bet Red here in Bolton. I'm glad to be joined by George Groves. How are we, George? I'm really good, really, really good. You come to all the shows, don't you? Yeah. Everywhere. It's good to see you again. I mean, we our clip that we done is my first 100k view. So, congrats. Well, thank you very much for that. Well, that is all your good work, man. So, so how long have you been at it then? Well, I've worked in the amateurs for a number of years and just transitioned to the pro game. So um, it's a bit new to me, but um, speaking to you is an absolute delight. But in terms of you, episode <laughs> nine of your podcast, mate, you must be thrilled. Yeah, yeah, podcast up and running now, flying. That's all right. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's saying good. I'm devilling into your world now. Just like you said, you've gone from the amateurs to the pros. I'm trying to do the same in the old uh, social media world. It's actually social media. So, yeah. Podcast up and running, the George Grove Boxing Club podcast, available everywhere you get your podcasts. Uh, we have a deep dive into a boxing subject every week with all different people involved in boxing. So it's not always your fighters and it won't be your, your news and reviews and your look aheads and what's going on, because that stuff, you know, Everyone knows, it's yeah. a bit boring after a couple, after two weeks we know it, you know, plus someone else can deliver it better than me, sooner than me, you know, whereas this, we've had solicitors on talking about contracts we've had Mike Costello at ringside talking about the chaos that goes on there we've had you know um, Darren Barker's on I think but there's a few I need to work out who's been out and who's been released and not yet we've got the Zine Brothers coming out on Wednesday talking about what it's like to be a prospect a hot prospect the hottest prospects in British boxing possibly even one of the hottest prospects in world boxing and how you deal with that in 2022 Exciting, exciting times, but let's talk about it tonight. Great to see some local talent on the build tonight and great to see a British title fight as well. What a clash between Craig Woodruff and Gavin Gwynn. Yeah, brilliant fight, brilliant, brilliant fight. Uh, draw probably was kind of the right decision. Um, I'm sitting with Steve Bunce, he had it He had it one way, I had it the other. I thought Woodford just edged it right at the end in the championship rounds, I thought he landed clean the shots. That's how I score rounds, I score rounds with the, the eye-catching shots. So even though there were rounds where uh, Gwyn was more active, which was just letting him get, let himself get hit with six, seven, eight shots, and then they ended up being eye-catching shots, and he was losing the round for it. But ultimately, I think that yeah, he nicked it for me in the championship rounds on my card. But he can't really complain because he switched off at times, gave rounds away in my opinion, and maybe the draw was the right decision. A good performance by Troy Williamson, someone who came to fight in that fight. It was tough for Troy, wasn't it? It was tough for Troy. I think he was a bit flat tonight, um, if he doesn't mind me saying. You know, he's got this big fight with Josh Kelly, and this was like set, set up at late notice maybe, or, you know, it was. it's not the Josh Kelly fight. So, you know, he, I don't think he, he didn't start super sharp, and then he tried to, you know, speed up as, it, as he came through, and then he, he tightened up, a bit of effort. Um, but once he stand a few shots, the guy was looking for an exit. Managed to get rid of him in the end. So some good rounds under his belt. Something to go away and, and work on and prepare for you know, this, this Kelly fight that's coming up in a couple of months. It's confirmed in December in Newcastle. Just talk about how big that fight is. Yeah, it's a big fight. I mean, a big domestic dust up. I've been in North, uh, North East, yeah. Um, yeah, great. I mean, it was up, was up there the other last month for, for Kelly and I think not the same, this, this is a different fight, so this is a bigger fight, a better fight, it'd be even bigger, so um, that's great, it's great for the area, great for the, great for boxing, great for Channel 5. Any reason why Josh Kelly didn't turn up, do you know anything that we don't? No, apparently he was supposed to be here, um, and then they, you know, they have a nice little tasty face-to-face -face or whatever in the ring on the TV and then everyone's happy, but no, but Kelly probably didn't fancy the, the drive. He might be on his way to London to meet the Queen or something, I don't know. Also, Lyndon R for the main event, um, you know, been out a while, it's great to see him back in the ring and a good performance tonight. Yeah, yeah, good performance. I mean, I, I was a little bit critical of him at the end, I felt like, I mean, he said it in his post-fight interview, he, you know, it he, he wasn't vintage him, he's a bit ring rusty, he's been out of the ring for nine months, coming back after a loss. Um, he didn't really sharp, he was a little bit flat tonight, could have started a bit sharper, and then when he finally caught up with the guy, it was awkward, small, point size swinging. Um, Managed to find that range with the right uppercut. I felt like I could have got rid of him there and then. Um, took him a few more rounds, but he got rid of him. Good for him. And um, he's in a tough division, but that means there'll be some great fights to be made. And also, just get your quick um, opinion on a few other things quickly. Um, Canelo Triple G kicks off in a matter of hours. Just get your thoughts on that one. The Alvarez favourite. Um, 
I think time served him better. Might be a cleaner win for him than, than um, the, the second one, which you know everyone's still everyone's got a different opinion on. But part of me, maybe I, just, I like Glofkin. Always appreciate Glofkin. Would love to see Glofkin roll back the years and just have a real dog fight. Um, I don't think either of them probably. I don't know. You'd say they both hit well hard enough to hurt each other, but they both got a great chin, so are they going to be able to hurt each other? We don't know. Um, I'm sure both guys will be happy to leave it in the ring. We're going to have a great fight. Also, the contract has been sent to AJ for the AJ Fury fight. Is that a fight which AJ has to take now? I think it's a good fight for him. <clears throat> if someone's done it off your world title fight, and it's a huge, huge, title, you know, huge fight, go for it. Why not? Um, Oh, you can mess about for a couple of, you know, another year having knockover fights, but you'll only end up getting slated for it. Might as well just go straight back in with Fury. It's a win-win for him in terms of, um, you know, what people actually perceive him right now, because he won't be the favourite going into it. So if he, if he wins, he's hero. If he doesn't, no harm, no foul. Um, but it might be the right time to fight Fury. You know, Fury's retired. So it might be the right time to fight Fury. Um, might catch him off guard. Who knows? And finally, then you've got uh, your sit down or your um, well, after dinner speak with with Froch in Nottingham next week. Just tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah, that kicks off the uh, the <laughs> meant to be Lee Wood Lara in that card in Nottingham the same week. So yeah, you and you and Froch may take the the, the, the limelight in that week. Oh, if only, if only. Uh, Carl's a big star in and in Nottingham so I'm going into the Lions then we didn't do a, we didn't do a show in Nottingham last year so I'm looking forward to it this year what, um, what are you expecting uh, I'm not sure <laughs> you never know I mean so first is we've done the tour last year but it's the first date on this this round of dates that we're doing so each week they're slightly different but um, yeah no it'd be a good bit I'm not really looking forward to it to be honest I'm looking forward to seeing Carl I miss him I haven't seen him in so long and Carl give him a cuddle when I see him I'm gonna kill him with kindness in his own crowd, and he'll he'll want to spit some venom at me because he wants to show off for his, you know, for the locals. But no, I'll kill him with kindness, and then he uh, he won't know what to do.